have people who are like either lesbian or gay or bisexual or in the LGBTQ community has had has like mental health issues or had to be raped or or like I, I won't say that. I'd say just like cheating, um, homosexuality has been around since biblical days. It's not new. In my day, it wasn't open. So people was doing it. It was in the closet. It was on the down low, but it wasn't open. In your uh, generation, everything is open. Yeah. Okay, and you know people seem to be okay with that. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think that um, there's some mental health issues there. There could be. There could be some mental health issues. There could be some trauma. But let's remove the stigma, or let's remove the LGBT in all people's lives. Yeah. Stigma, trauma, yeah. And stuff like that. So that's why I say back in my day, it was there, just wasn't open. Now everything is out in the open. Everybody talks about everything. Yeah. They be lonely. I what's on their mind yeah. now they put it on Facebook they you know I mean stuff that you used to carry with you in high school now you can put it on Facebook you can put groups and talk yeah. about it you can do all that stuff and I just don't think the time or everybody in the time has caught up with this is what is going on yes yeah. it's, it's almost like when um uh what's his name Kirk Franklin came out Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember Kirk Franklin? Yeah. yeah. Probably, but when he first came out, they thought he was a radical. They, yes, okay? very he radical. Stomp and yeah. he was Christian. They thought he was radical. Now you say Kirk Franklin, and he's well accepted. But back in those days, you know, a lot of older Christians thought, "What is he doing? What do they mean stomping? What's up, young people?" <laughs> but it was, you know, it was a new way of reaching out to young people to get them, um, to get them saved, to get them believing in. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ ain't scared of no great folks, no lesbian folks, no queer folks. Yeah. Like, he ain't scared of none of that. But you need to understand. My, my thing is, and here, here's my thing about um, the whole mental health thing and lesbian and gay. And queer. I think there's a balance, there's a very delicate balance there. So, for example, I always tell people um, the, the gay community or the lesbian community, or well, what's, what's the proper term? LGBT. It's just too many dang letters. Okay. <laughs> All right, but, so, so, right, I'm almost <laughs> sure. So, so that community and, and 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 the community that does not identify as yeah. that, it's a delicate dance between the two. Certain, they can't be so pushy as to say, "Hey, I'm here. You have to accept me," without understanding that people are going to push back. Say, "Hold on, yeah. wait a minute. Let us yeah. catch up to where y'all are. Y'all yeah. are quote unquote free thinkers. Let us catch up to where y'all are, and we ain't going to come there as quick as possible. Just like." We're saying to y'all, hey, you, you you may be a boy, don't be running around here looking like no girl yeah. because I can't yeah. take it. Da, 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 da. We have to say, hey, listen, if this is how this person wants to identify himself. That's not label them as mental health or, yeah. or assume that something has happened to them without getting to know them. Without getting to know her, you need to get to know me. You understand where I'm coming from? I need to know. But let's let's drop all the all the stickiness and let's just get to know one another as human beings. Okay, if I can get past your look and you can get past my look, and I can get past your beliefs and you can get past my beliefs, and more importantly, this, this is kind of sort of where I stand on this. First of all, if you only identify the lesbian, gay, queer as their sexual identity, you are so much more than where they did. My, my uncle used to have a saying, nobody knows where the nose goes when the dough is closed. It could be the same. That, that, that's, I heard it. That. You understand what I'm coming from? <laughs> Meaning nobody know what you do when you close the door and you get behind them closed door with somebody. Okay, Nobody so know what you And door. if you don't tell us what you did, we won't know. Now we can guess, we can surmise, we can assume, but unless we open up that door and catch y'all, we don't know what went on in that room. Okay, mm -hmm. but we like to assume and to guess and surmise. So I can look at this person and assume I know. You understand why? And I can be 100% wrong. This person can look at me and assume they and they can be 100% wrong when as human beings, we should get to know each other first you know what I mean and then if you invite me into that world as to why you are the way you are and open up that door and we can and we can have an honest conversation you should be able to accept the way I feel I should be able to accept the way you feel and that should be okay I shouldn't be your friend only if I got to yes, double check everything yeah. we real friendships have serious disagreements I believe that they have serious disagreements because I'm not a robot you're not a robot I, I think differently on that subject that you don't mean we can't be friends just mean I don't agree with you yeah. on that subject <laughs> now let's move on let's find something we can agree on if we're gonna be friends or do we have a strong enough friendship or relationship to totally disagree on three quarters of the things that okay. we're involved in and still be okay yeah. you know what I mean yeah. it's kind of sort of like the president right 
country. He's still our president. Yeah. Whether you like it or I like it, whether we like what he believes in, he don't like what he believes in, he is still our president. Whether we voted for him or not, majority won, he's still our president. So let's find something we can agree on and uh, all that rest of that stuff. We ain't gonna agree with that joke. That's, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I think he got some mental health issues. He may think I have mental health issues. That's just the way it is. Thank you so much. Right, you're welcome. Man, What's, we the What's the name of the group? What's the name of the group? Leaving Our Legacy. Okay. Our legacy. Okay. okay, great. Yes, and I'm from um, the Winning Initiative.